Okay, now we're going to look at the uh, loft tool. Um, this is basically where it allows us to move a shape along a spline and create a polygon surface from that. So just to demo that, I want you to select the line tool and build a line kind of similar to mine. So if we just start that again, if you click a point, then to make sure it's completely straight, if you just hold the shift button, you'll see that'll snap it to so it's a dead on straight line. So just make a shape similar to mine, remember right click when you finished. And then all we need now is a shape to move along this. So if I just select the circle tool, we'll make a circle there. It has to be a spline shape in order to follow along this, not a polygon shape. So then we need to go to the loft options, which are in our panel here, compound objects, and then loft. And if you go to get shape and select the circle, you see it's now put the circle along that shape. In our modify settings here, if we sorry, if we zoom in on the mesh here, you'll see it's quite detailed. So if you just come to your modify settings here, go to skin parameters, you can reduce the amount of detail in it to whatever. It's good enough for you guys. We'll just copy a few of these along. So you can see we can quite quickly create kind of shapes like this. It also works on curved surfaces, so if we just create a line here, select them all, right click and go to smooth. And then we'll make another circle, select our curve, back to compound objects, make it a loft, hit the get shape tab and select the shape. And see, create something like that. Now for this there's not enough kind of steps in the object there so uh, because it's a curved surface we will have to increase the steps of the path kind of make that fit. So. so you can see with the loft tool it's very useful for kind of creating any kind of lengthy or kind of objects with any kind of direction changes in. Very useful for that. The other benefit to it is um, it's already kind of mapped for you. So we just put on a checkerboard material. Click into fuse here, select checker, apply that and make it visible. We'll set the tiling up. You'll see how the mapping follows the trajectory of the shape.